Sam Adlin, I'm co-CEO of Space Solar. We're developing space-based solar power, where we harness the abundant solar energy in space to power markets on Earth. Up in space, the sun shines 24-7, allowing us to deliver 24-7 clean, affordable energy to Earth. It's incredibly sustainable, incredibly scalable, and could be a really important part of our future energy mix. Space-based solar power, it's effectively the idea of having large satellites up in space to collect solar power up there and then to beam it back down to Earth as microwaves, which can then be received by antennas on the ground and um, converted into electricity to be used throughout the grid. So right now we're at a really important inflection point. To build a machine as complicated as a fusion power plant on Earth to be fully remotely operated is not so dissimilar as building the structures that we're expecting to see in space. And those, those structures could be in space, or they could be a lunar station, or something on Mars, or whatever. So we are talking very much about the future of humanity here, as well as everything else. So this Albatross project is really exciting because we were able to put together in a short amount of time these robotic systems and successfully showed them putting together our satellite structure. And being able to do this is basically a key piece of the puzzle to us eventually being able to put them together in space. The largest infrastructure we have currently, an international space station, is about 100 meters in length. So the sheer scale of the project is the challenge in, in and of itself. But the good news with, these, with, with what's happening with uh, the next generation of heavy, heavy reusable launch is that we can move to a whole new type of structure up in space. Hypermodular structures comprised of many thousands of the same modules. This collaboration has been absolutely fantastic. UK have got so much experience in robotics for extreme environments. Together, what we've managed to do is really show the principles of how you can start to build large structures in space. What that then allows us to do together is really demonstrate and start to bring communities together around how we can go on to develop all sorts of new things that, that the space sector can deliver for Earth. Space-based solar power, data centers in space, next generation satcoms, um, anything that needs power, new materials in microgravity. These are all things that are going to be enabled by the sorts of capabilities and technologies and ultimately the demonstration that we've developed together uh, between UK and space solar. The mission of the Atomic Energy Authority is to make fusion a reality. One of the beauties of collaborating is that you get out of your own bubble. You de-rut. You look at the world from a different perspective. So actually working on space stuff is, is hugely uh, invigorating for our team. In fact, we have a bunch of people who come from the space sector anyway. But working with people who've got really challenging problems and engaging in a different conversation is, hu is hugely valuable to, to both parties. It's as hugely exciting as an opportunity for the UK space sector, for the UK robotics sector, and the opportunity that space is going to offer to Earth, enabled by the sorts of things that we can deliver together with UKA, is absolutely huge.